I was changing a couple lights on a trailer. Um, it's a red now, or 2015. See the studs got corroded on two lights. So it's one right here. You have to drill these rivets out and pull the light out and plug it <clears throat> on the back side of it on a plug ins when the factory didn't use any um, corrosion protection grease. But anyways, change one here and one on the other side. Uh, when I was putting this light in, I don't know if the camera will catch it. Uh, look how much the trailer flexes it down from this thing. If we go towards the back. Can you see kind of goes down? Basically if I put one in the back of the rock right here from the side. That is insanity. So this trailer is rated for 120,000 pounds. It's a big bubba. I hold some heavy stuff on it. I mean, I had 78,000 pounds one time, but this is 60. They said it's 65, but I think it's heavy in that. I think it's all 70, um, 68, something like that. And uh, what makes me nervous, it's in such a s small space, man that much weight sitting it's a solid hunk of steel like literally just a solid piece of steel it's not empty or nothing but didn't break yet uh, this trailer comes with a what is it four inches of arch if anybody familiar when this trailer is empty on a center it kind of goes up and then goes down and then you have three inches of arch on a top deck basically the top deck when it's empty it's facing down and then the top deck goes up. Oh, it's all completely flat. <clears throat> it's not crushing nothing. It's still dripping up there from a snowstorm. It's warm out, but uh, it seems like it's doing all right. It's not breaking. Oh, let me walk up. That's what it looks like. Some people say, put a partial up here, put a partial up there. Uh, gross combination right now is 103,000 pounds. That's what I got, gross. Lots of room on a trailer. Not a room on a weight, but uh, I'm gonna go to Illinois and get this thing unloaded. I can't believe how bad is flex in a trailer. Quite a lot. But that's the part of hauling heavy shit. But I replace this light and one on the other side. Uh, this is not your ordinary light. I will go back on the lights. You can't buy these lights anywhere but right now our dealer. And uh, they usually give you lifetime warranty on them. And uh, the, the problem is for the claim the lifetime warranty, you have to bring this light to the dealer, uh, show them the, the problem what's right there is corroded and they will give you a new one. When I stopped in up there in T South Dakota for, for the lights, they sold out out of them. And uh, he's supposed to send me new ones. So he ended up sending me like two weeks later. So right now it's kind of good what they riveted on. Nobody can pop them out very easy on a trailer. You know, take them. And uh, you can just go buy in any trailer store to buy this right now, right now lights. So you gotta go specifically to right now order them if they don't have them they will ship it to you if you don't have the old ones out they will not they will not warranty it so i got two of them out i'm gonna keep them underneath the bunk and then next time if we're gonna go to south dakota or any any other red now is gonna bring it to them and give me two of new ones and it's supposed to be free of charge but they're not that expensive they're like 13 dollars a piece or 14 bucks a piece it's just a hassle where you can find them and like i had that one light I thought I had only one light and I bought one spare one. Well, it comes down, start looking, I had one more light out. Well, if I get inspected by DOT, they wouldn't care, you know. That's the crappy part about it. But otherwise, trailers hanging on pretty tight.